New York is known for setting trends, hip hop, b-boys, MCing, graffiti. And do you feel that New York has lost its identity? And if so, why? We lost our style, we lost, we lost our, our personality. Jay-Z said it best. It's like New York's been soft ever since Snoop came through and crushed the buildings. I'm trying to restore the feeling. F the law, keep killing. Money, cash, that was the ignorant hold. We had a unique style. I have people hitting me up all the time, telling me that they can't stand New York with the drill music because the one thing that made other states fall in love with New York was our originality, which we lost. Look at Tupac. Tupac was one of the illest dudes because he he lived in um um Baltimore, Boston. <laughs> uh, he spent most of his time in New York. He 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 was out there in um. In, 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 in Oakland, he just spent time in LA. So this dude picked up many different styles from many different places, which made Tupac unique. But the best of Tupac, the truth of the matter is, if you sit back and you analyze Tupac, is he had New York swag. He had New York swag. That's what made Tupac dope. With the things that made, like the, the things, look at Nas. Nas is a rapper you cannot compare nobody to in the music industry. Look at Biggie. Somebody that you cannot compare nobody to in the music industry. I don't care how much Tupac claimed the West Coast. He was New York. You can't compare nobody in the music game to Tupac, right? Let's keep going. Big Daddy Kane. You can't compare nobody to Big Daddy Kane. You can't compare nobody in the rap game to KRS-One. You can't compare, actually you could compare Chuck a D. lot of dudes, a lot of dudes, Chuck D. Chuck D. Okay. You can't okay. compare nobody to Chuck D. But the crazy part about it is when you look at Cool G Rap now, Cool G Rap birthed a lot of these dudes on the low. Cool G Rap, Biggie will tell you, that his storytelling came from Cool G Rap. If you sit back and you listen to MOP, which you can't really compare dudes to them, but you could, if you look at Cool G Rap, you can see the offsprings of MOP. You see, no other rap group is like Mob Deep. Now, when you start going, and I ain't even go through all of them. Now, when you start going through these other states, you see their similarities. Everybody's the same. New York birthed legends. When Snoop first came out and Dr. Dre, there was nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like that. When Scarface and Ghetto Boys came out, this is what we birthed. Originality. Originality. When you turn on the radio right now, it all sounds the same. Throw it in the trash. And this is why New York is losing because we birthed everything when it came to hip hop. And everybody came, like, when you look at Outkast. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to make the daughter cry. Like, hold up. Who is busting out with music like that right now? New Nobody. York birthed the greats of the greatest, the greatest of the greatest in every state. And now, slowly but shortly, they didn't gave hip hop the lethal injection. The one thing that New York, when and, and people get mad at me, shout out to Dipset, shout out to Jim Jones. I don't be trying not to be so hard on Dipset and Jim Jones, but that was the death. Dipset was the final blow, the death of New York sound and hip hop. When it flooded New York with that gang culture and we started mimicking everybody else and killed our own originality. You know how many people look at me when I put on my coats from different places like, yo, that coat, I wish the temperature was like New York. That coat is fat. It's fire. New York got to bring back that New York energy where we go somewhere and we stand out. We don't fit in. That's the problem now. 
dudes is not standing out anymore. We fitting in with everybody else. We used to stand out. When a New York true, dude went true. somewhere, everybody either loved us or hated us because the women everywhere wanted us. <laughs> Man, when you go you go to the you go to the south, you go to different places, the women are clowning us. We lost our originality. We mm-hmm. lost the we lost that last dragon glow that New York used to have. LL was unique. Everybody, I had a girl, I was messing with a, Cal- a girl from California, she was clowning LL. Y'all New York dudes think y'all all that. Running around with one sweatpants leg up and the other one down. Talk about you don't know if you want your leg to be hot or cold. I was laughing when she said that because she was a dog piece. But at the same time, people either loved us or hated like, us for our style. Things like as far as like what Hashan say, you are, it, it's not the same. You know, when you talk about summertime, man, it, like, every time I hear a song, I think about where I was at when that song came out. Summertime, I was in. Sorry, Miss J. See, those are things that you sit back and think about because unique is different. And some of the things like I, you know, I agree to disagree, but he was right when he said as far as right now is like he gave me flashback. When you start talking about the fashion, one leg up, one leg down. You start talking about the BBDs and all this other fashion, quarterfield, um, um, strata jacket, um, Pumas, Adidas, British Walkers, Playboys, Kangos, all that good stuff or whatever. And right now, you're right. At one point in time, we we did it. We set as far as the fashion trend. And I guess, guess what? We are like right now, I think me and Hashan is probably like a, a little over a decade apart. And it, like you say, it's a different time and era. But once again, see, all wise men seek knowledge from the trade of the great. And a lot of times people don't understand it. Whereas I'm listening to him make a lot of valid points. Like he said right now, when you start talking about summertime, you're right. We couldn't wait for the summertime. When you start talking about right now, trust, Grooving, body moving, crush groove, y'all, body move, y'all. This is something that we don't rehearse. DMC rock second and run right first. I can't live without my radio. Come on, man. Fat, fat, fat boys. Come on, man. man. Those was the days, man. That's what music was music. And you basically kind of understand it was simple sign, but you understand it. Now, what did he say? What was that? So you're right. I'm out of touch with that.